It's not okay. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm finna get straight to the point. I just want it to be like... So, let me get back into the story and stick with me and stay with me. So, one morning, my mama called me at like 8.30 in the morning. And it's weird because she never called me while I'm at work. She had texted me, but she would not call me because she know I be at work. So, she called me talking hella weird. So, the first thing she said, you at work, girl? Girl, what you mean, girl? She don't ever just be like, girl. So, she like, you at work, girl, this morning? I'm like, yeah, I'm at work. What's wrong? So, I'm not going to say my sister ex-boyfriend. I'm going to say her boyfriend because it was her boyfriend at the time. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to just call him the boyfriend or her boyfriend, right? So, she like, nothing, girl. I'm just sitting here with your sister boyfriend. Just sitting here, girl. What you up to? You said you at work. Like, she just talking in circles and it's weird. So, I'm like, huh? She like, yeah. I don't know. She just talking weird and she keeps saying, yeah. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not even saying nothing. And she's saying, yeah. Uh-huh. So, I'm like, what? And I just hung up the phone because I was just like, what? Like, she was kind of irritating me. So, I hung up. She called me right back. Like, as soon as I hung up, she called back so fast. So, she like, yeah, I told you. This hurt. I'm like, hello? She like, yeah, I told you. I'm sitting over here with your sister boyfriend this morning and early in the morning. Like, she talking weird. And she put emphasis on her words. Like, hear me out. So, growing up, we always had a code word. And my mama drilled this in our head as long as I can remember. She used to tell me, if anybody come up to the school to pick you up and they say I sent you, you ask them what's the code word. If they don't give you this word, you run. You don't go to them. So we're going to say the code word is sky blue sky. Because it was like a random, you know, a random little word. So we're going to say it was sky blue sky's code word. So I said, Ma, are you okay? Yeah, girl. Um, your sister boyfriend just over here early this morning. She keep putting emphasis on early this morning and your sister boyfriend. So instantly I'm like, something is wrong. So I said, think, think, think. Oh, the cold word. So I said, Ma, do you need me to bring that sky blue sky? We're going to say the cold word is sky blue, sky blue. That's what the cold word, that's the cold word, sky blue, sky blue. I said, Ma, do you need me to bring that sky blue, sky blue hat over there right now? She said, yes, yes, girl. Bring me that sky blue, sky blue hat right now. Also, I need that sky blue, sky blue shirt too. My heart dropped to my toes. Like, I hung up so fast because I just said sky blue, sky blue hat. She said sky blue, sky blue hat and shirt. So that mean like danger, danger. Like danger on top of danger, right? Y'all hear me. Y'all gotta hear me. So, it was the weekend, I remember. So, my little brother was in the house, too. Mind y'all, it's 8.30 in the morning. By this time, it's probably like 8.45, 8.50. So, I'm blowing his phone up. He's not answering. And I'm thinking to myself, why he ain't answering? He ain't at school. Blowing his phone up. He not answering. I'm blowing my sister's phone up. She not answering. Y'all, I know where my sister at. She is with her ex-girlfriend at her ex-girlfriend house because I got her location on my phone and I see she is at her ex-girlfriend house and I see my mommy is at home and I see my little brother is at home with my mama. So I'm like, okay, why is her boyfriend at my mama's house and my mama not there? So I'm blowing up my brother phone. I'm blowing up my sister phone. And I'm also blowing up her ex-girlfriend phone. Nobody ain't answer. Like, I'm calling back today. So, okay, as soon as I hang up the phone with my mama, I'm getting off track. But as soon as I hang up the phone with my mama, I call 911. Like, soon as my mama said, sky blue, sky blue hat, sky blue, sky blue shirt, click on the phone with 911. On the phone with 911. So I'm like, yeah, my mama is being held hostage and my brother is in the house. And they like, um, who's holding her hostage? I'm like, my sister boyfriend. And they like, what's his name? I don't know what. I don't know why I thought I knew this man. I thought I knew him. I'm giving them this information. I'm just like a thousand percent sure with the information I'm giving them. So they like, what's his name? I'm gonna make up a name for the purpose of this video. His name is James Jordan. They call him JJ. James Jordan. JJ. They like, what color car 
or what kind of car do he got i'm like he got a purple van it's a purple van yep yeah. and so <laughs> y'all and while i'm on the phone with the police i stepped outside because i'm at work mind y'all my heart is pounding my palms are sweaty i'm going crazy so they like okay we get some people over there right now so I'm like, okay. So I had to go in the house. I had to tell my coworker. This she was new. It was her first day. I remember like it was just that. It was her first day on the job, y'all. But I told her, I said, look, I got an emergency. You good? I gotta go. I'll be back in a minute. She said, okay. I left. No, I get in my car and I'm thinking like, okay, if I go home, my house is 20 minutes from my job, but my mama house is 20 minutes from my job too, but the opposite way. I'm like, so if I go home, then go to my mama house. I said, that's too much time in between. I don't have time because I was trying to go home because I needed to go get my pum pum, you know? I had to go get the pum pum, you know? So I'm like, okay, think, 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 think. So I got in my car. I'm like, I'm going to my mama house. So in the midst of me going to my mama house, I'm still calling. I'm calling my sister phone. I'm calling her ex-girlfriend phone. I'm calling her ex-girlfriend phone and I'm calling my brother phone nobody is not answering the phone so um okay so i'm driving to my mama house so i call ashley mind y'all it's 8 it's 8 8 30 it's probably about 9 905 at this time i'm calling ashley blowing her phone up she ain't answering so she finally answered i said bring my gun to my mama house right now she said okay i'm on my way click she ain't asked no questions right so i'm flying to my mama house i got there and like it was it was a 20 minute drive i probably got there in like 12 13 minutes baby i was gone i don't even think i stopped at no red light y'all so i pull up so when i pull up my heart is is like really really pounded but when i pull up i see his truck i see a truck i see a truck it's not a purple truck it's a black truck or a blue truck i can't really remember so i'm pulling up my heart just goes to my toes because i'm like ashley not here yet i don't have my gun but my mama and my little brother is inside that house. So I got to get out this car because I got to go see what's going on. So I, I get out. Tell me why my sister boyfriend is walking out the house. And in my mind, he's walking out the house like this. He looking all buck and mad. His face is red. His face was red when he came out the house. But he was just looking so buck. So I'm getting out the car. So he walking up on me. And I'm like bagging back. Because mind y'all, I don't got my gun on. And I was scared. I was scared shitless, okay? Heart is pound. I can't hear my heart like bop, 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 bop. So he walking up on me. So in the midst of him walking up on me, I see my mama come to the porch and she yelling, the police just left, the police just left. But I can't really pay her no mind because this nigga walking up on me. So he walking up on me, he like, yeah, where your sister at? Where your sister at? Like that. But in my mind, he like, where your sister at? Like he trying to get me or something. But he just like, where your sister at? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know, but I know where my sister is. She had her ex-girlfriend house, but I'm not, about to, I'm not about to tell him that. So I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. So he's like, yeah, the police just left. The police just left. I'm about to go. So hold on, y'all. So he was like, yeah, the police just left. I'm finna go. I'm about to go. So he jumped in his car and he pull off. And so my mama, and so now I'm tuned in to him. This mother, and then she blamed everything on her baby daddy, y'all. Whatever goes on that's wrong, she blaming on her baby daddy. This MF had called the MF and police to my house. They had my house around it. So I'm like, Ma, I called the police. Why you mad? I called them for you to help you. She's like, What did you call the police for? I'm like, Ma, one of y'all being held hostage? Girl, she like, <laughs> I'm like, Ma, wasn't y'all being held hostage? She like, What are you talking about? I said, You said the call word when I asked you. She said, I ain't know what you was talking about. She said, I know that your sister is at her ex-girlfriend house and her boyfriend is here. I didn't want him to know that your sister was with her ex-girlfriend. So I told him that your sister was at your house. So then I'm, I'm just lost. I'm, 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 I'm pissed now. Ashley pull up. So Ashley pull up. So I get the little thing, take it out of her car so I can put it in my car. She like, what's going on? What's going on? I said, ain't nothing going on. It's all a misunderstanding. I'll tell you about it later. Y'all, she half sleep. She got her bonnet on. Like, you could tell she just rolled out of the bed, grabbed my thing, and, and came to me, y'all. She was like, okay, I'm going back to bed, y'all. So, I'm mad. I'm so mad because if y'all don't know me, I got real bad nerves. So, I'm always, like, like nervous and, like, scared and thinking the worst. So, I just, y'all. I walked in that house. I said, Ma, because me and my mama was talking on the porch. I walked in the house. I said, Ma, I asked you, did you want me to bring the Sky Blue Sky hat? 
And you said, yeah, and bring the sky blue sky shirt. I said, what was you talking about? Why would you say a shirt? She said, girl, I didn't know what you were talking about. I was just agreeing with you and just, I don't know. I just didn't want him to know that your sister was at her ex-girlfriend house. Because I told him that she was with you at your house. I'm like, ma, why you just didn't tell me that when you called me or text me that? I said, you was acting weird and I was so scared. Then here come my little brother waking up, coming out of the room, talking about what's going on? Why y'all so loud? He had sleep. I'm mad. I'm mad at everybody. As soon as he walk out the room, my phone started ringing. My sister calling me. Hello? Why y'all calling me so much? I'm pissed. So I'm yelling because I thought your mama was over here being held hostage and your, your man over here, you need to get over here because I don't know what was going on, right? <laughs> so y'all, I'm mad because now y'all waking up, now y'all returning phone calls after after all of this, right? So my sister walk in the house, she got a hangover. She's still drunk from the night before. She's like, what is y'all talking about? So I run it down to her and she's just like, why was he over here? Like, we not even together right now. I guess they was going through that. You know how it is when you, I guess, in a relationship and y'all be breaking up and getting back together or whatever. So she like, we ain't even together right now. Why was he over here? And then she gonna say, Ma, why would you open the door for him? That's the same thing I said. Ma, why would you open the door for him? She gonna say, this is what she said. She went to the gas station and she seen him parked at the corner and told him like, hey, yeah, come on. Come on down to the house. Why was he parked at the corner of my mama's house? She... She crazy. It was just all crazy. But y'all, moral of the story is, if y'all got a code word, use that code word. Because cause like I said, anything could have been wrong. Anything could have been happening. And I just had to be on my shit. But y'all, when he was walking out, I just thought like he just, he looked this so bugging like scary. But basically, he was saying like, it's too much going on over here. Y'all got the police around in the house asking who is James Jordan and tell James Jordan to come out the house. Ain't nobody in this house named James Jordan. Y'all, my sister boyfriend name was not James Jordan. And he did not drive a purple van. His name was JJ, but it wasn't James Jordan. And I don't know where I got it from, but I was confident that I knew what I was talking about. And I was confident that his car or his, I was confident that his van was purple. It wasn't. It was either blue or black. Where did I get purple from? Out of all the colors, I said purple. And out of all the names, I said James Jordan. I don't know. At the time, I thought I knew what I was talking about because I was confident when I was on the phone with the police. And my mama all like, ain't no James Jordan up in this house. Ain't no James. Who was James Jordan? So she just was mad when I pulled up. But y'all, I was so mad. And to this day, every time I be like, Ma, remember when I thought y'all was being held hostage? She like, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about that. First of all, she made the cold word up. If we was ever in danger or anything, that was our code word. Then I gave her the code word. She used it back to me twice. If y'all was me in that situation, would y'all have been thinking the same way I was thinking or was I just paranoid and tripping? First of all, we didn't even know this guy like that. Like my sister knew him like that, but we didn't, you know? So I was scared. I was scared. So I did what I was supposed to do. My mama calling me 8 o'clock in the morning when she know I'm at work. That's weird off top. My mama do not call me if I'm at work. If anything, she'll text me. And she was talking weird and putting, and putting emphasis on words like saying, she was putting emphasis on words like saying, this morning, this early morning. Like she keeps saying early morning and she keep calling me girl. Like she don't call me girl like, like that. Like what you doing girl? Like, okay, she, she want me to know something up, right? I don't know y'all. I know when I go back to edit this, I'm gonna be like, I forgot to say this. I forgot to say that. Cause I'm trying to make it straight to the point. I'm not trying to get all like off topic and stuff. Cause it's a little bit of stuff that happened like kind of like in between. But that's not like main details. But I just wanted to get straight to the point because I don't want to drag it out or be talking in like a loop-de-loop -loop and y'all get lost. So I hope y'all was there with me on the story time because when I tell stories, y'all, I'll be over here, I'll be over there, I'll be right here, I'll be back there. So I try to keep it straightforward, y'all. But long story short, my mama and little brother was not being held hostage. My sister boyfriend at the time was just looking for her and he maybe thought she was at my mom's house or was trying to get information on where she could be at. 
But one thing about my mom, she not telling on her kids. She knew where my sister was at, but she not gonna tell on her kids. One thing about me, I'm not gonna tell on my. No, we don't do that. You don't do that. And that's any parent though. Like who gonna be like, oh my child's with their ex down the street? Like, no. So, yeah, y'all, that was one of the scariest days of my life. So I end up just going back to work and telling my coworker like, yeah, I'm sorry about that. I thought something serious had happened, but it was nothing serious. So, yeah. So now if I ever have to call the police from my phone, I'm going to be scared that they're not going to come because I'll call the police from my phone and they get there. My mama said it was like people laying on the ground with big ARs. She said the house was surrounded. They're not going to believe me if I call 911 again. They're going to think I'm playing. She said it was so many cops out there. So that's why my sister ex-boyfriend was scared as hell because he like... I got the police over here. What's going on? Mind y'all, he ain't know it's like that either. So he probably like, what the heck they got going on over here? Whole time I'm thinking he was holding my mama and my little brother hostage. And I don't play like that when it comes to my family. So yeah, y'all. <laughs> so yeah, y'all. That is just crazy. So yeah. Let me know down below if y'all want me to do a story time on when I was sneaking this boy in the house and I got caught. And I got my ass beat. Okay, my mama with my ass. Okay. I can still feel that pain to this day. So let me know down below if y'all want to hear that story time. Because baby, I couldn't believe it. I'm so dumb. <sighs> I got caught with a boy in the house. But yeah, y'all. If y'all made it this far to the video, give me a big old thumbs up. Leave me some hearts in the comments. Y'all know I love hearts. And as always, back, just in a back, wrinkle to the front. Period. I see y'all in the next video. Peace.